Hi guys, I haven't done a video in a long time and uh, I just woke up and I'm Hawaii and while the whole world goes crazy I'm so blessed to be in paradise and I just wanted to tell you how amazing life can be if you're tuned with yourself and your heart. Yes, I can call myself a spiritual person but it means Spirituality means for me being one with nature, listening to Mother Earth, being one with my heart, body, mind and soul. I'm a healer, I'm a psychic, yes, and I have those abilities. And yes, sometimes I'm scared that people might ask, how does she do it? The secret is that when you follow your heart, when you listen to your heart and you do healing and you, you be one with nature and you follow and you listen to Mother Earth, Oh my gosh, you will be so much guided. In October last year, 2019, I had lots of events. I was doing the Oktoberfest in Sri Lanka. I was uh, competing. Uh, I was invited to be an international a beauty pageant. It was called Miss British Empire. There were like 20 contestants. And all of a sudden, I was running for Germany, Hannover, um, they're still running by the British uh, colon colony. And so I was doing a crash course, 30 minutes, how to walk. It was, it's actually quite tough. It looks easy, but it's not. And I became second runner up. And at the same time, for six days, my band from Germany was there in Sri Lanka playing at the Taj Samudra. And I would sleep at four o'clock in the morning. And then I did my own work, my own healing work with my clients. And... I was doing so many things, getting my residence visa for Sri Lanka. And then after all this was done, my whole body collapsed. I was, we had an election going on in Sri Lanka and the energy was very tense. And my whole body was paining. And, and I cried and I took a medicine like Parado, Panacetramol because I had so much pain. And then I knew, okay, this is not what I want in my life. I want to be happy. And then I did healing, healing, healing. I was sleeping, 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 eating well, taking herbs, looking after myself and visualizing and drawing and putting crystals in my window so I would attract the rainbows and I would get a dolphin statue. I got a singing bowl and I would use my crystals and I would do so many things to keep my frequency high. And right now, look at this. Tiny. I love this. I'm just getting up so you can see actually. I mean, look at, I have this beautiful outfit. I got that sweater for $3 and my <laughs> jumper and my shoes. And look at this place. Like I'm lying in here. It makes me feel so comfy. This is my bed. This is my kitchen. And when the wind goes, I can hear that, which is awesome. And in, um, in Hawaii. And do you know how, how it happened? Now it was raining. This is the car I'm driving. Those are my neighbors. And here is the lava I can walk on over there. And then there's the ocean. And I learned something amazing yesterday. If you have in a papaya tree, can you see the, the leaves and the, the stem? If you cut the stem, you have a straw to drink. Throw away the stupid plastic and you can use your, that stem of the papaya and you can use it as a straw. So here's my coconut. <laughs> I'm seriously sorted. And I have my herbs. I want to show you. This is a Hawaiian herb. It cleanses the blood. It lowers the cholesterol. And you have those herbs all over the world. Himalayan salt, it's very awesome. Black pepper is very healthy. Even people with cancer should use black pepper. Olive oil, cold pressed, it has lots of amino acid. Here, apple cider, it makes your body alkaline. All those things make your body alkaline. It's very healthy. I'm drinking almond milk. I'm taking honey, cooked. Cocoa, uh, cocoa instead of like chocolate, which is really good. I have lots of fruits, as you can see here. And you know what happened? I was supposed to go to um, India. And every time I wanted to book the flight, the flights were like really expensive. And uh, 
my whole body was rejecting i didn't something in me was telling no this is not the place where i should go and i was like i should be happy if i travel and i was like wondering and then i met an old friend and then he was saying oh he was working in hawaii and in the morning when i woke up trying to book the flight to india i was like frustrated i saw a picture of hawaii and my heart was like oh my gosh i just want to be there and then a, a voice in myself said hey google the tickets to hawaii and not usually those tickets are around two thousand dollars and you know what i got it for 700 up and down and that's the very first thing i did i booked the flight and i packed everything knowing some a voice in me told me hey you're not coming back soon take some more things and i'm like why would i do that i did that and i removed also a couple of things because my brain said no and my heart said yes and then i was on the way to hawaii and then this corona thing happened and you know what if mother earth if you're alignment with mother earth and you ask her for help she will provide everything for you i got more clients um I got friends who got me a place, who got me a car. And I'm so sorted. I'm so protected. I'm so much loved. I have everything I need. And I'm happy. I'm finally happy. I'm recharging my batteries. I'm in nature. I'm going for a walk. I'm going for a swim. And I'm so grateful. And I met the healer. I, I saw... The whales, yeah, because right now they have the breathing, like they're having baby, whale babies. I saw a turtle when I was swimming in the water. I was swimming with a dolphin. And yes, I deserve it. So do you deserve it? But all I can tell you is, if you overcome fear and you start trusting your heart and your instincts and your inner voice, you will be so much guided that the whole world falls in place. And my friend who introduced me to the lady who gave me that house is staying now in my house because he was looking for a place and he's looking after my cats. And my neighbor, she went back to Europe and it's all taken care of. Isn't this amazing world? And that virus brings finally families back together in their home, confronting each other, talking to each other, playing games, cooking, laughing. And nature has finally space to expand, to clear, and people are starting to look after themselves, eating healthy, making their body alkaline, and everyone is talking about that virus is just a virus, and when people are alkaline, when they drink water with lemon, drink herbal teas, eat healthy, there's no issue, that's all fine, okay? So all I have to say is, follow your heart, you can have paradise on earth because earth is paradise thank you bye and if you need any help with a session or whatever um text me bye